He is Basketball Hall of Famer, coach of Kentucky basketball, John Calipari, here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you doing, coach? Good, Rich. I got 50 seconds left on this elliptical, but I, and I ain't breaking my routine. But go ahead, talk to me. Are, are, do you, are, am I really chatting with you in the middle of a workout right now? Yeah. Okay. But I only have 40 seconds left. I'll okay. Done. But, but, and listen. but I, I multitask. This is impressive. As well as anybody. So let me ask you this question. Um, uh, how long is the routine that now probably has about 30 seconds left in it? I go about four miles a day. Four, so. Okay. That's that's good. That's good. And uh, how, how many uh, do you do per Six minute? Six days a week. Six days a week. Fantastic. And so the this elliptical is located in Boise, Idaho, correct? Right now? It's in my room. I have <laughs> anywhere we stay, I make sure I get it in the room. So... <laughs> I don't waste time. Okay, very good. Uh, are you through now? Have, have we gotten through the? Uh... I am officially done. Four hey, hey. point two wow. We're giving you the Rich Eisen Show's ovation. Well done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so uh, you're you're watching the uh, the tournament selection show, and you think what? When you hear you got to now hop a flight to uh, Idaho to take on um, a team that just shocked everybody to the point that Notre Dame's bubble popped coach um well also knowing we got to play on thursday i was in my car because we were traveling back and my phone blew up mm -hmm. and it was bouncing around the seat and the reason is everybody was like they got you again they did it to you again <laughs> they put you in a region you know and so at this point i have not looked at a bracket I know we have to play Davidson, who, by the way, is an eight or nine seed, maybe better. They're not a 12 seed. Uh, most efficient team in the country will shoot 33s. If they make 20, my young team has had a hell of a season. Mm -hmm. But we have to then play on Thursday. So we're one day short. And uh, that makes it even tougher. Mm -hmm. John Calipari here on the Rich Eisen Show. Do you think show. anybody feels sorry for me? No, I don't. I don't. No, I, I think there are tiny violins playing. But, you know, um, <laughs> I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, I guess everybody has some form of an issue. And at least I guess you're 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 in the dance. Um, and and today. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's every year stuff. You know, last year, North Carolina, UCLA and us in the same little region to get to a Final Four. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? I mean, is there a reason you would do that? Um, I can remember one year we were with Ohio State, North Carolina, and us in Newark. Uh, the year we won the national title, man. The year we went to the Final Four with uh, the Twins and Julius and James and Willie and Alex and that crew. I mean, we're in there with Louisville and Michigan. I mean, we are – when you look over the years, there ain't no easy path, but that makes it even more rewarding. And I tell the kids, you know what? Throw the hardest thing at us. Make it so it seems impossible. I love chasing impossible. Um, I still say before I retire, I'd like to have a season where we win all 40 games. We've won 38 three different times. I'd like to say, let's go to 40. Why not? That's uh, impossible. You can't do it. I'd like to have 12 players. Right now we have four. 12 players play in the NBA All-Star game. So half the game is our guys. Right now we have four in there. Uh, let's get it to 12. I mean, let's do the impossible. Why not? John Calipari here on the Rich Eisen Show. So you do not know who you might face if should you survive I know, I know Virginia because everybody talked about it. But I don't know who Virginia's playing. I don't know the rest of the bracket. And I don't know any other bracket. I don't know. And I don't care. I've got the youngest team in the history of this tournament. We start five freshmen, another freshman off the bench, a sophomore who's 19 years old. He might as well be a freshman because of his age. That's who we are. And so my focus is on how can I keep these guys believing? How can I get them to understand they deserve this, that things are going to happen in these games that you look at each other like, wow, you can't put your head down. You keep playing. And it's never over until that horn sounds. And all you're thinking about the entire game is how do we win this? You're down six with 30 seconds. How do we win this? What do we do to turn this around? And, and trying to get them in that mode. I mean, you know, you mentioned this all-access. I asked them, I, look, I don't need an all-access. I don't need article. I, I mean, I've been 
look, I just need to kind of fade away and <laughs> nothing written <laughs> said and all that stuff. Come on. But I said to them, I said, hey, guys, do you want to do this? It give people a chance to see what you guys are. I got great kids. I mean, these kids, and this has been overwhelming for them. And for all the listeners out there, they're now moving into the, the, the all-access pieces that were taped when we lost four in a row. So if you want to see K- Kentucky when they're losing and what it looks like and feels like, <laughs> and most people will, like, yes, I don't want to watch when you're winning. I like to see when you're losing. The next couple episodes are that. But this is about getting to know these players. Um, and, and, again, we're – look, we're up against it. But I've had teams up against it in the past, and I just want to have fun with it, and I want them to have fun. John Calipari here on the Rich Eisen Show. And, by the way, today is the one-month anniversary. I looked it up of that uh, – of you losing your fourth consecutive game in a row. And I'm wondering when you're, when you're doing that and you have cameras there. Now, look, kids who are 18, I think, are used to having a spotlight on them for many reasons because that's what social media is all about. Everybody – I think 18-year-olds are used to having an audience for every part of their lives. Uh, what, what are you thinking, uh, sitting there thinking, I've got a bunch of 18, 19-year-olds, four-game losing streak, and the March Madness is around the corner? What goes through your mind, Coach? Well, well first of all, the guy's trying to put the mic on me, mm-hmm. the all-access, and I want to strangle him with the court. But that's one of the <laughs> things. Right. But – the, the other thing was, I've been doing this 30, 35 years. I've been through just about everything. The, we were playing better. We just couldn't put 40 minutes together. Or the last two minutes of a Tennessee game, an Auburn game, we, we fall apart. Well, that's what inexperienced guys do. And I kept saying, we're getting better. But I knew this, Rich, we had to win a game. We couldn't go 0 and 12. We were 0 for it. We had to win a game. We had Alabama at home, who at the time was playing out of their minds, and we beat them. Then we beat Missouri. Then we went on the road and beat Arkansas. Then we, all of a sudden, we're like, we're the team. And we go to Florida on a noon game. Again, inexperienced guys, they don't know noon. They think it's they're in Vegas playing three games. The first one's at noon. Second one's at four. The next one's at seven. You know, I, I just don't feel... Well, it's senior night for Florida, and they kick us. And we get beat every which way but loose before the tournament. And i got to get them back. And, you know, again, I keep saying the same thing to young people, and I've done this throughout my career. You have to conquer yourself before you can worry about conquering somebody else. you got to be self-evaluating yourself, and you can't listen to people around you tell you it's everybody else. Well, he takes him out for nothing, and, and, and you come out, and all of a sudden you can't miss a shot. Or you, you can't listen to all that clutter. You have to evaluate and say, you know what, there's one way for me to get better. i got to get in the gym, and i got to do what the coach is asking me to do. Well, how is he asking me to play? Am I going to fight this the whole year and then look like I can't play at all? I mean, this was about individuals conquering themselves, one, and then the second thing was, you're not going to do this by yourself. You're not in high school. You can't shoot all the balls. There are other players here. You have to create a good shot, so they create good shots for you. No, no, you got to defend. You can't just shoot. But don't you wish well, at some point you'd, you'd have more experienced team players that you don't have to worry about, that that they know that stuff? Or, or, or well, you... I've done that. I coached at UMass. Right, sure. I had four-year guys. People forget. I'm old now, but I, <laughs> I used to have those young guys. And, yeah, I'd love to coach guys for four years, but not at the expense of keep holding a kid back. I mean, we get, we get 30 guys in the NBA. They make over a billion dollars right now, a billion. And I was in those homes. I was with those families. I knew their dreams and aspirations. You're talking about people with dignity and hope, and, yeah, I want their kids to move on. But would I rather have them for four years? Yeah, Rich, here's what I tell them when they leave. If you want to do what's right for you and your family, put your name in that draft. Now, if you want to do what's right for me and my family, why don't you stay all four years? Hmm. If it all comes down to it, Coach, uh, it's always fun watching you out there on the sidelines and uh, and and against Davidson in five twelve matchup. It'll be something that the whole country is going to be watching right right around uh, dinner time out there in Boise. In the last minute, I, in the last minute I have with you, Coach, uh, uh, is this your first ever trip to the state of Idaho? No, I've been to Twin Falls. Okay, 
to uh, the College of Southern Idaho, which is an unbelievably beautiful manicured campus. Okay. As a matter of fact, we drove from there to Jackpot, Nevada. There you go. You never even heard of Jackpot, Nevada. <laughs> so I've been to places you've never even heard of. I bet. They I... had sawdust on the floors. Oh, yeah, they did. Okay. It was crazy. It's fantastic. Well, uh, I'm watching this stuff. It's, it's great. Hey, Coach, really appreciate you joining, uh, and I'm glad that you got that workout in. Thanks. Thanks, Rich. You got it. Take care. That's Coach John Calipari. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.